that weight string, we can see we've extracted uh, that string properly. Now, you wouldn't ordinarily do this. Tuples, again, are typically for temporarily grouping values together, but this is what a tuple is in its simplest form. But let's look at an actual real uh, situation where you're creating a function that returns multiple values. So what I'm going to do is to create a function, and I'm going to call it string info, and we're going to be sending a string as a parameter to this function. Now what I want to return are two values, so I'm going to create a tuple return type, and what we're going to be returning are first an NS array of all of the words that were actually in the string. And then we secondly want to return the number of times that the word the was found in the string. So I'm just going to create another property here called num, and this is going to be of type int. So now I've defined that I'm going to be returning two values, um, an NS array and an int, combined together into a tuple. So let's actually make this work. So I'm going to create a constant called words, and we're going to go to that string and call the components separated by string. And the string is just going to be a space like that. So that's going to get us our array of words. Now I'm going to create a var called num and set it equal to zero. And we're going to loop through, the, through those words. So for word in words, and we're going to say if word is equal to the, 